Hello children. Today we are going to solve exercise 8.1, question number 9. Which of the following op options are true? So this 3 is to 4, whether it is equal to 6 is to 8. We will check whether this statement is true or false. We will check this one. For checking this, we need to solve. That is write down this ratio can be written in the fraction form like this and this ratio you take at the other side 6 by 8 okay take the first one fraction 3 by 4 then the second one you take it Okay, their denominator is 4 and 8. 4 and 8, their LCM is 8. So, we will, uh, we have to make their denominator 8. Then you multiply with 2. 3, 2 are 6. 4, 2 are 8. It is already 8. The denominator multiply with 1. 6 by 8. Okay, so... So they are 6 by 8, 6 by 8, these two are same, then these two ratios are same, they are equal, 3 is to 4 is equal to 6 is to 8, these two ratios are equal, hence, hence this statement is And this statement is true. Okay, that's all. One more question B solution. Same method you apply it. 3 is to 7, you write down. It will be 3 by 7. 6 is to 13. Write down. It will be 6 by 13. Okay. Take the first one fraction, then 3 by 7, the second one fraction, so 7 and 13, the LCM is 7 and 13, so there is no any common factors which can divide at these two, so there is no any common number, so we will multiply it directly. 7 into 13 is how much? 7, 3 are 21. 2 in hand, 7, 1 are 7. 8, 9, 91. So we need to make their denominator 91. Then 7, you multiply with 13. Then same number should be multiplied at the numerator. 13, 3 are 39. 7, into 13 is 91 and this one will be 13 you multiply with 7 okay 13 into 7 is 91 6 7 are 42 so we can see it here now we can compare their denominators are same now and which one uh, 39 this one is 39 this one is 42 so these two are not equal so we will write like this 3 is to 7 it's not equal to 6 is to 13 okay they are not equal then in the questions uh, they ask that whether it is true or not so we will write hands the statement is not true hence the statement is not true okay here we finish solving 9b now we will solve question number 10. The length of three pencils A, B, and C are in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 5 
if the length of A is 6 cm, find the length of B and the length of C. Okay. Solution. Ratio of three pencils. Ratio of three pencils. That is A is to B is to C. So it is given it here. Two is to three is to five. Okay, so here you can see that it is given in the equation the length of A is 6 cm. This one is 6 cm. This one will become 6 cm. 2, we have to make it 6, then we will multiply with 3. Okay. Then bring it down this three. So in the ratio for the equivalent ratio, what when we multiply uh, one number with anything, same number should be multiplied to all the ratios. Okay, to all the numbers. Then three we multiply it here. Same number should be multiplied in here. It's five. Bring it down same number should be multiplied okay then 2 3 are 6 this will become 3 3 are 9 5 3 are 15 okay so this is for converting into the equivalent ratios okay if you multiply any number with a number same number should be multiplied to other ratios as well okay so the length of B equal to and of B is 9 cm and length of C the length of C equal to 15 centimeter here we finish solving question number 10. So whatever I solve today, you copy down in your class bar notebook and your homework will be question number 9C. This question you solve it by yourself in your homework notebook.